So which would you prefer, a camera recording of Clash Royale on your iOS device or a direct screen recording of Clash Royale on your iOS device? I think we all know the answer and this is how you do it for free without jailbreak. To directly record your iOS screen you will need an app called Airshow that's not available from the App Store but it is free and doesn't require any modifications of your device. All you need to do is set your browser to this address on screen now and I'll leave a link in the description. The web page is savagepool.com and here you want to simply tap the Get Airshow link which will produce a pop-up asking you whether you want to install Airshow and you simply tap on install. Once the application is installed, if you try and open it, you will get an untrusted developer warning. Now you don't need to worry about this, it's basically because the app hasn't come from the app store, but you can trust it. What you need to do is go to settings, general, down to profile and device management and where it says these words or words similar, they can change and again don't worry, it's just the application getting a new certificate, but you just need to trust the application as shown on screen and from here you should be able to launch Airshow like any other ordinary iOS application. There are two options for recording, those are the record quality which you want to set to 1080p and the orientation which needs to be portrait or landscape depending on what type of screen you want to record. Now you're ready to record and when you press next step what you'll need to do is swipe up from the bottom of the screen to get the control center for your iOS device, then tap on airplay, tap on your device name and toggle on mirroring and when you do that, that automatically starts the recording. So with the recording started, what you're going to see on the right hand side of my screen is the camera recording and on the left hand side is the direct screen recording that's taken from Airshow and I've put it into this video editor to show you what happens. As long as the application you're wanting to record doesn't use the microphone itself, since Airshow is using it, you should be fine to record. So let's crank up Clash Royale and see what happens. Absolutely perfect. Now I'm sure you'll agree that the quality on the direct screen recording far outweighs the camera recording on the right hand side because you don't have to worry about anything such as focus, a colour temperature, lighting and whatnot. One thing to bear in mind when you are recording is that it does record from the device's microphone. So it's going to pick up all the external sounds such as me talking so bear that in mind if you do record from the iOS device. We'll return to that Clash Royale battle a little later to find out whether I win or not, but I just wanted to show you what happens at the end of a recording. You need to go back into the Airshow application and press the stop button, then on the Airshow application tap on the top right button to show your video, and this is very important, you need to tap on the video and save it to your camera roll in case the application ever crashes, and you need to get the video files out of Airshow as quickly as possible and onto your device so that you can start editing them. And what I usually do is I plug my iPad into my computer and the video file appears as it would do in any normal folder or directory and then I can start editing it. Okay, let's get back to that screen recording and see how I fare in this Clash Royale battle.
by all means critique my clash royale strategies if you want to this is a new game to me but i'm finding it really addictive and enjoy playing it that's how you record it directly on your ios device for free without jailbreak and i have plenty more videos on the subject which go into a lot more detail about how to use the application in my playlist if you want to click in the top right hand corner now thanks for watching if you do have any questions about this subject post them in the comments below and i'll try to help you otherwise enjoy the rest of your tech day bye for now